Mr. Rafi, but you let us look at uh, the final base Biafra agitator talking about Samarepa, who is the Biafra Prime Minister of Biafra in exile, inviting Nigerian government to Biafra Convention holding in Finland. Of course, you are reacting to the decision of Nigerian Defense Equator to synergize with the European Union to extradite him, saying that he showed that Biafra is legitimate, that the legitimacy of Biafra is the reason the, there's on, they are not stopping in every attempt to get at him. Now he's inviting them to come and witness Biafra Convention in Finland so that they have opportunity to engage him one on one. Thank you so much. The best way to tackle issue of uh, uh, Biafra agitation in general, maybe you know from uh, the prime minister in exile or maybe from the axis of incarceration of Nandekano, is supposed to be a dialogue of a thing. You should, you know, uh, invite all concerned or aggrieved uh, 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 parties. I didn't understand. And even most interestingly, the the most you know uh, pers pers uh, uh, prospects the two prospects we have principal prospects we have on the ground biafra agitation this time around are nam de Kano and the, the prime minister of biafra in exile in the person of simon ever so on getting to eu as they were invited you know beforehand by the prime minister in exile they should get there and on getting to eu that i mean europe they will just all discuss and bring everybody to the table and let us talk because it is, it has, it is actually seemed this time around that emancipation of Biafra is unstoppable, inevitable, and nobody can even tell me that whatever he's doing is not a reality. The man is doing well; he is good on that agitation business or transaction. See, it is a reality. EU, European Union countries or nations can never, ever deviate from supporting Simon or. You know, turning their backs on Nigeria on the request or invitation to synergize together with Nigeria to bring Simon Epa to Nigeria. It is not possible. So what I'm trying to suggest here is that the invitation, the, the, it, it, it has been done. There's no way Nigeria could not, you know, fail to at least uh, grace, you know, grace the invitation by Simon Epa. It is in Finland. It, they should go there. I don't understand. And at least be part of his guest. There is nothing like war anymore there a country that fought civil war for the first time is not going to fight civil war for the second time they are invited they, they are they, they, everybody has already brought private jet for them they should be they, they must you know honor the invitation and take part on the at least uh, convention or referendum that is going to be conducted in far away uh, uh, uh finnish capital finland so what i'm trying to say is that uh, Eba is doing, uh, at least using all diplomatic measures, you know, within his reach to make sure that Nigeria country is part of the convention or whatsoever going on about Biafra in Finland. Then again, let me make my point clear. EU synergizing with Nigeria to truncate Biafra sovereignty, sovereignty, you know, emancipation is not going to work. It is going to be just like loading your then gun and aim it, aiming it at the moon. It is an effort, if you ask me, in futility. Nigerian government should at least retract from making that effort to consult or to meet uh, EU or Finnish government to extradite that or to at least stamp out or exterminate that idea of their frame special. No! Biafra has come a long way. And what is, are the measures? What are the problems? What are the, the, the factors that, brings, that bring, bring about this current, you know, thickening cloud? Thickening cloud about Biafra emancipation. Is it not imag ma marginalization? Okay, fine. Marginalization. What happened last year during presidential election? Obi's mandate was illegally stolen by Bola Ahmed Tinubu, which makes his, you know, regime the most illegitimate regime ever seen in recent times and it is was part of the measures that brings or gathers the cloud of biafra em emancipation in recent time so what are the other problems why not commercialize or industrialize southeastern nigeria by dredging most of those deposits in the biafra along the biafra coastal line you have on there you have calabasi port you have Uyo, and then what about worry so these are the issues on board the nigerian nation are busy dragging Igbo man backward 
each and every every administration that comes and goes are against is against the goodness the welfare of the Igbo man so those problems those measures those factors are still lying dominant dominant so they should look into it what the Igbos want and give it to them but this time around i can even prove that the best to come now is Biafra. no need of doing any other thing again because these people are just like uh, you know he goat that smellish one that could not even listen or heed to advice when we comes to munch either all these pieces of uh, pills from either banana or yam if you throw stone or cast stone at him we, we will just run away within some three minutes we has forgotten we keeps on coming and coming that is nigeria federal government of nigeria for you on anything about anything that concerns Igbo man they don't have us as their major interest at hand so that's my own take okay, now, uh, before i let you go let us uh, understand because some people are saying that if uh, european union were to listen to nigerian government that some of that movement may be restricted to finland that he may not be free to move around member states of european union and that may mean a bigger trouble for him what is your take no 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 it can never connote any trouble for simon Epa. If they at least uh, restrict him from moving from Finland to other EU member nations, I think. Wait, 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 wait now. No man is an island. Yes, he might fear. He might be afraid of at least running into wrong hands or into the, you know, a fortress or den of the enemy. But I can assure you that the Scandinavian countries I know they can never synergize with the EU to buy someone else, and they can never. I mean. EU member nations, as they are standing now, Brexit has occurred. Brexit, I mean, is British exit, exit from EU membership. So it can never ever all go well. It can't work. The EU member nations have nothing to do with what Britain. Britain is the most double standard European nation. They are not part of EU. Germany, you are talking about, is a strong country. Then Austria, Luxembourg. Then the whole Scandinavian countries, which I know there are more than six. Then you have Australia, uh, Bulgaria, uh, you have uh, 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 countries like Italy, then Austria, then you have uh, Romania, and so on and so forth. I think they will never ever get anything out of that. EU will turn their back on them. Because why? Why? I have one reason for you. The whole EU member nations, Biafra agitators, Nande Kano and Samonepa has perfected their job too well. These guys are not Nigerians, they are Biafrans. They are too resilient to get good results and could stop at nothing to get what they wanted. So this time around, it can work, Pastor Matthew, it can work. If EU member nations embrace Nigerians' advice, I think it will never all go well with them and the Scandinavian countries. I think Samuel Epa is not facing any problem in Finland. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Rafa Bucci. We hope to have you next time. This is Satellite Media.